Alright, last time there was some death on my, from my part, but I got the older zero part, so it's time to think over and go to face a new Maverick over with a really dumb name. Overdrive Ostrich. Well, ostriches are big birds and big flightless birds, largest birds around. I don't really know why they're the largest birds ever, but they are so, most likely not. No, they are not largest birds ever. But they certainly are largest birds are, at, at least these times, so nothing wrong with that. And they don't fly, but they are fast runners. And quite capable of kicking as well. So, overdrive ostrich can be assumed to be a a fast one and ground base, not a flying one. And the spin wheel does quite nice work. And uh, there's also riding around with a with a weird ass bike-like thing, leading to this kind of place. And a pathway to cut through to nowhere. That's a bit of bizarre. And a desert with a desert storm. Mostly because just ostriches do basically live in not complete desert but in quite arid conditions. And that thing, whatever it is. What's the, what's the source of this you know, storm so sandstorm so it's so it's now dead. Oh, I got hit. By a thing causing pain. And that's a one up. But I don't intend to go and get it. And, and with a quite difficult maneuvers, you can get that hot tank. So it is, it's, a, it's not any kind of trickery needed, but it's quite complex maneuver that you have to do. And there's a new capsule here. Oh yes, now you got the air the air dash. Improvement to your mobility. Mobility. Perhaps the most important item to get to reach secret places. And it definitely is very functional and handy thing to carry. And of course you do need the wheel gators blade weapon to actually make get that thing so yeah and unlike only there was some weird rocket that you blast in a boss room that which has to be blasted oh it's, a, it's in a desert it's a big plane against do a fight and a fight against Overdrive Ostrich itself. You know, he runs around, he kicks you about, he runs around more, he runs in the back in the background. As he spots you, he wants to stomp you. But it's quite difficult to guess. Is, is he do, doing that? running or stomping maneuver is it is it decided by random chance or anything else and once you get out of there scroll him out of screen he wants to go to the background again
Meaning that you can quite easily manipulate its behavior. And when he does that jumping, or jumping around maneuver, it's quite difficult to maneuver yourself around it. But when he runs, much easier. To smack him down. Victorious again. And with 50 feet of overdrive ostrich. A weapon called Sonic Slicer, which for some weird reason is weakness of thing called Wire Sponge. Sponges are deep sea weird creatures which never move, so why in hell they would pick the sponge to be a thing for a Maverick? I don't know. It's a. Well, they, they tend to be something like really weird. At least something. And. In here, there's a big, big secret. Half container right at the beginning. No, no trickery, just go and get it. Except you have to know where it is. And of course, whether, whether being controlled means there's all kinds of heat wave and cold wave and all that kind of rain wave, rain and all that kind of thing magicery. Nothing particularly, you could say, unexpected from Mega Man game, or in which technology to build sentient robots is very old and proven solid. And with these high places, you can actually go and grab yourself the second energy tank, which is very handy. And that place leads to the X Hunter, but I've already beaten them all. So there's no reason for me to go there. And of course the elevator leads to a bed of spikes. So it's a bit of a wonky thing. And these things can be shot with specific weapons to make conditions different. Which is quite handy trick, but it's just a trick, not, there's not much of point making use of it. More heat! Well, generally you could say that the stage of Wire Sponge is actually quite of the dull ones. It doesn't have any specific really interesting gimmick. This kind of that little weather control thing which doesn't have practically affect gameplay at all. Except you can go except the rain card. Otherwise it has practically no mean effect. More of these spider things, they blow up real nicely. Ah we're already facing up against the sponge itself. And it's weak against Sonic Slicer. Although you, although you could say that well, as a general difficulty why a sponge is quite actually good se good selection to take first. Ah, well, there's the... And Sonic Slicer cuts through practically everything about, well, it's a matter of wire sponge at least. And once you throw those things around, they, they are these kind of little... They are some, something like seeds or something which stick to wall and if you hit them they, get, they do, 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 do damage, but it ain't particularly intimidating. And of course, given, given sufficient amount of pain, he starts to spray out painful things. And it's time to slice him apart. 
with a sonic slicer, which is probably a bit of a trick. Now, if you finish him off with sonic slicer, he's clearly cut in half. Horizontal bisection. Quite impossible to survive. At least if it has his body or stomach area, it's impossible to survive. Although technically you could say that any loss of limb is but bi bi bisection of by the human cell or anybody else. Straight chain. A new weapon. A new password. Got on some progress. Nice progress. Nothing specific. So it's time to actually end the episode right here. See ya next time. See ya!